the experiment is uh, sine wave generation using main bridge oscillators uh, we are going to design a main bridge oscillator uh, using op amp uh, ic741 uh, we require op amp uh, 741 ic resistors capacitors oscilloscope to view the waveform output breadboard uh, supply power supply and the connecting wires so this is the circuit diagram for uh, main bridge oscillator uh, basically we know that oscillators work under uh, positive feedback so the output of the op amp at the sixth pin is given as input to the positive terminal and this is the feedback network through the feedback network we are giving the output signal fed through the feedback network to the positive of the op amp and uh, the design values of uh, resistance and the capacitance are chosen based on the oscillation frequency so here we are designing for a frequency of 965 hertz so based on that uh, the capacitor value is around 0 0.05 microfarad and the resistor value chosen is 3.3 uh, kilo ohms so if this is the design choose a capacitor of 0 0.05 microfarad and uh, based on the frequency of oscillation f0 equal to 1 by 2 pi rc we are uh, calculating the resistor value r which is 3.3 .3 kilo ohms this is the feedback network the inverting terminal of the op amp here the input resistance value is chosen as 12 kilo ohms and uh, based on the gain of the amplifier the feedback resistance is twice of r1 which is uh, 24 kilo ohms so here the oscillator circuit the output is observed at the sixth pin so here directly we are going to observe the sine wave at the output sixth pin so this is the uh, design specification the gain of the op amp is 3 if the resistor values of uh, the feedback network R1, R2 and uh, C1, C2 are chosen to be equal then the amplifier gain is 3 based on this the feedback resistance is twice of R1 so this is the procedure uh, connect the circuit and apply the power supply connection and observe the output at the oscilloscope measure the practical frequency the theoretical frequency is designed to be 965 Hz and uh, after we measure the time period we can calculate the frequency of the output signal and amplitude also can be noted so this is the general uh, description of the uh, waveform uh, generator uh, that is vein bridge oscillator so uh, let us look at the simulation so this is the circuit diagram which is uh, already connected so we have placed the ic741 op amp and uh, we have connected uh, seventh pin to the positive vcc plus 12 and 4th uh, pin to the minus 12 and 6th uh, pin is the output which is fed through the feedback circuit uh, RC and uh, this is the series RC connection and parallel RC connection this is the feedback signal which is given to the positive terminal and uh, input resistance is 12 kilo ohms and the feedback resistance is uh, uh, 24 kilo ohms which is fed through a potentiometer here and there is a slider here we can uh, choose the value of the potentiometer by sliding this is the potentiometer connected to the uh, sixth pin and uh, so once the circuit is connected we can run it and output is observed through the oscilloscope oscilloscope positive to be connected to the sixth pin negative to be grounded so here I am running the circuit so I observe the output signal so initially when we run the circuit the oscillator may not produce a proper sine wave uh, initially it takes some time to build the waveform and gradually and it gets settled so this is the waveform obtained uh, for the output so we can measure the waveform amplitude and the time period by passing it and uh, use the cursor and uh, place it at the peak of the waveform so we can note down the this is I have connected to channel B I am using cursor 2 so I can measure at T2 this is my peak amplitude which is 11.1 .1 volt and when I want to connect uh, calculate the time period I can use two cursors place it at two peaks measure the time difference which is nearly 1.061 milliseconds so when we uh, calculate the inverse of this time period we can calculate the frequency which is close to the theoretical frequency uh, which is around 965 hertz